Hi, this is David here. Let me show you a quick tip. You see that code here? I'm gonna show you how you can actually remove uh, unnecessary code from that component. You have the component right below, and then right at the top, you see that uh, the, this is the state management part, right? So this is part of, it's a short, a short video that uh, part of a, a long refactor of this app, right? So you can watch it on refactoring.coach. So what we do here is actually to remove that that component from the state management from here so the way you do that you go here and then you're going to create you're going to create a hook right let's call it use product because we're dealing with product right here and i'm just gonna put it right here right and then what i do here i just want to return the thing that are needed in the in the page so if i look at that page uh, right below uh, i see that it's basically the product only that we 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 need right there so which means that now here i can actually use i can use product from use product right and now if we if we check that we should be able to see that our application here isn't actually working so what is the issue we have a use product at the top and uh, we are returning that product right here and then we're taking that product here so if we go back here probably have to refresh and then we see that the application is still working right so that's basically a nice way for you to isolate the state somewhere else and now i just put it here uh, for for simplicity and keeping that video really short but uh, in, in principle, you're going to take that code and move that into a, 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 a custom hook. And there you go. You have your tip for now. Bye.